inspiration from the rest of y'all. I know you're looking at me. I know you wanting more. You like those apples? Well, I'm bad, baby, to the core. I'm like a tiger, pull my stripes on baby teeny pals. Gonna be so golden that you won't be waiting by the hours. send their basketball team here. I know they've won the trophy for the past 10 years running, and I know they think they're gonna do it again. And I sure as hell know something else. This year, they're wrong. Because we know something that they don't. We have a secret weapon, a weapon of mass destruction, a weapon made in the beautiful Wyoming, USA. Woo. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you our new team captain, the one, uh, the only, the mighty, uh, Mecca! <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Say a few words, son, come on. Uh, 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 yeah, just uh, uh, good luck for tomorrow, guys. Um, let's give it our best shot. Come on, the generals, buy your troops. Oh, um, okay, uh, what is the best thing in life? To crush your enemies, to, to see them crumble before you, and to hear the wails and whimpers of their women. Yeah. yeah! That is a direct misquote from Conan the Barbarian. Crush the enemy. original. Crush your enemies! Crush your enemies! Crush your enemies! Crush your enemies! What is going on? Yeah. You are stoned. No. Yes. Hey. <sighs> I'm so proud. I'm so high. Mac, help me. Help me. Oh, Barry. Oh, never let me go, my beautiful horse. Should I be worried? I think they make a lovely couple. Easy now. Remind me again. Why does it matter if my parents know? Look, if you want to do the whole rebellious thing, then get a tattoo and a piercing. Just leave me out of it. I already got a tattoo and I got a piercing. You know, the more you say no, the more it turns me on. You're sick and twisted, which is good. Just not here and not now. God, you're such a girl. Okay, we got me. Sunset behind me, the heroic angle as I practice my speech for tomorrow's game. If I may be so bold, as director. Got one job, make it look good, don't overcomplicate this. Yes, it's just, I was thinking of going for a rougher, handheld approach. Cinema verite. Now you're talking French. Now, this film is about me, about how my camp turns boys into men. Strong, macho men who can throw a touchdown and dunk a two pointer. Now, can you nerdlings deliver that or not? Action. When I was uh, young, I uh, had a dream. A dream about boys. A team of heroes. Camp Wimaway, they're a sports camp. They got the equipment, gym, dietitian. They got the whole nine yards. Beaver Falls, we're street, we're ghetto. And uh, paper, we're toast, but we got something that those Wimaway jerks don't. We got belief. And you know what else we got? Precedence. Damn it, that was a rhetorical question. We're in the middle of a take here. It's obvious that Beaver Falls are going to win. It is? Of course it is. It's, it's your classic underdog story. You know, like Rocky, Sea Biscuits, Bad News Bears, Mighty Ducks. Mighty Ducks 2. Mighty Ducks 3. Mighty Ducks 4. I think we can agree that the entire Mighty Ducks canon is included in this equation. I don't equation. want your theory, Spielberg. With all due respect, I am the With director. With all due respect, shut up and keep filming. All right. You know what else we got? We got the Mac attack! <laughs> 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 Looks like everybody's pretty hyped.
fucked up. Huh? No, I need an excuse to get half naked and start screaming. So you think you'll score tomorrow? Well, I hope so. That's why I'm there. And how about tonight? How about tonight what? Do you think you'll score? Uh, <laughs> not the night before the game. I gotta keep the powder dry. The night before or the week before? I'll make it up to you, I promise. Okay, because you know, I am a firm believer in sex after marriage. Yes, I do know that. Listen, I got, I'm gonna shoot off before Bobby makes me do a little dance or something in front of everyone. <gasps> okay, no, don't blame me. Love you. Yeah, I love you too. Bye. You don't enjoy the moment of glory? Have you ever stood in front of a group of people just chanting your name at you? Once, when I was eight. And it wasn't because they liked me. <laughs> hey, do you want to play tomorrow? Yeah, the only thing I know how to do with the basketball is make a pretty good bong out of it. Oh, come on, it'll be fun. We'll find a role for you. Yeah. Sure. My cousin Robbie, he was a big burner in our family. He'd smoke or snort anything he could get his hands on. Carpet cleaner, catnip. He once huffed a whole can of butane gas, you know, that stuff they used to build lighters. He said he saw God and God made fun of his haircut. He's like 25 now, old, looks like Lex Luthor. Mate, you all right? I'm mighty Mac. I'm amazing. Give me some of that. Fuck. I'm on water, so, yeah. According to your girlfriend, I have an unhealthy relationship with alcohol. Ah, so you had a drink and sold your friends and stripped off. Yeah. That's a normal night in the pub where I'm from. Right. Don't worry about it. Hope doesn't need to know. Hope doesn't need to know what? Uh, you sort of sneaked up on me there. <laughs> Only sneak, sneak around. <laughs> so? Well, uh, well, no, I, I was just saying that if Rachel wanted a drink, which I don't. Then, you know, it wouldn't be the end of the world. And she shouldn't tell Big Bad Hope? Well, no, that's, that's like the opposite of what I meant. Well, not the opposite, just not it. <laughs> well, you know, I'm actually really surprised you're still here. Because, you know, I left the bunk free for you and Matt. Uh-huh. <laughs> we won't be needing that now. Oh, problems? No. We can talk about it tomorrow in your session. No. Or we could do it right now. I'm all ears. Tomorrow's fine. <laughs> OK, I'm going to turn in for the night. Mm -hmm. Good girl. Mm. Man, they really fucking lap that shit up, don't they? <laughs> I envy you, Barry. Yeah, of course you do. No, man, I'm serious. You show up late to the rally, incoherent, wasted, and, and Kimberly thinks it's cute. I wish I could be like that. Yeah, who wants to be the hot shot hero that all the girls drool over? Oh, it's not even like that. No, no, no. Much better to be a shambling mess of a man who's only just realised he's wearing odd shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be so hard on yourself. You know, you, you got a lot more to offer than people realise. You OK? You're going to puke? I gotta go. Okay. Chicks cannot take their weed. <laughs> Understand it's things to the eyes, spit faster than a blink of an eye. Got swag man on drinking their lives, drowning hey, the flow and sick of the tide. Bad. Don't spit at all, test the vision, get kicked in the crystal balls. <laughs>
Mm. Can't believe I have the pleasure of a counseling session with hope to look forward to today. You know, her and Bobby are convinced that I was all drunk and out of control. You were kind of drunk and out of control. <laughs> I know. Sometimes it's okay to just give in, go a bit crazy. Right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, look at you last night. <laughs> Bullshit. What? Yep, sounds like wish fulfillment to me. I'm serious, right on the lips. I'm telling you, guys like Matt, they can't take their weed. Why's Morris got his mouth taped up? I don't know, but I hope it stays that way. He's having an artistic protest. Bobby won't give him control of the film, but apparently he's pissed off with the rest of the bunk because there's this other film that he wants to make, but they're all too chicken to do it. You spend far too much time with those kids. Yeah, weird, huh? Almost like it's our job or something. Incoming! Incoming! Camp Wimwake bus sighted! Let's show these SOBs that we can do hospitality! And where's my goddamn camera crew? So wait a minute, Mac actually kissed you and you don't think that's weird? No, man, people do pretty crazy stuff when they came. Yep. I know a boy got a tattoo of Ross Kemp on his ass. <laughs> Unbelievable. It's like that time you and me taking a bottle of absinthe and I uh, planted a smackaroonie on you. What, you took me off somewhere nice and romantic to do that, did you? Like a quiet spot by a beautiful lake, just the two of us? No, it was in front of everyone at the student union. Exacto mundo. I don't think Rachel would be too happy if she heard about what, this. Right, th this has got nothing to do with her. It was munted. End of story. Aha! Speak of the devil. And how are you today, my dear? Yeah, I'm fine. I don't know, you never write, you never call. I'm starting to think I'm nothing but a cheap floozy to you. Well, I don't get it, it's some sort of Brit thing. Oh, well, you know, last night with uh, Barry, I have no idea what you're talking about. Action! All right, we want a wide shot, then move in slow on me and Pamela. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He says he thinks starting on a close-up would be better. I don't care what he thinks. Bobby, please, don't embarrass me in front of Hal and Judy. Maybe you were right, dude. Maybe we have been chicken. Maybe it's time. Oh my God. I always knew there was something too good to be true about him. Don't. No, listen, we all know Rachel rushed in to get married. I mean, how well does she really know him? Well, only since they were kids. Apparently, she was on the rebound for some weird meddling English guy. Yeah, he's all clean cut, Mr. Healthy Outdoorsman. There he is, smoking a doobie, getting caned, and planting smooches in your sweet face. Is that really the person she thought she married? Even if he was a serial killer, he would be nearly as annoying as you are right now. I'm just looking out for Rachel. And there are two very good reasons why you should not interfere. Your girlfriend and your ex. Stay away. I wouldn't be interfering. Fine, all right, none of my business. It's 10 o'clock, which means? The big hand is pointing at the 12, the little hand is pointing at the 10. It's time for your session. Yay. Good to see you again in your lovely little camp. Blah, 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 blah. Judy. Yeah, you're looking... Well, I guess we're all looking a little older. <laughs> you don't. Thank you, Bobby. Oh, and, and you, uh, you definitely don't. In fact, uh, you're getting younger and younger every day. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me if uh, one morning I woke up in bed with a baby. Uh, so where's, uh, where's Hal? Oh, he couldn't make it. He's got some business to attend to in Connecticut. Or maybe he's just scared of seeing his boys taking a beating at the, uh... The hands of Beaver Falls. Um, no, he's definitely in Connecticut. In fact, he's raising funds for our second camp. So, is this the part where you tell me that I drink too much because my mommy didn't hold me right when I was born? No, this is the part where I tell you to stay the hell away from Arab. <laughs> I'm sorry? He's my boyfriend and you're meant to be married, so get over it. I don't have any interest in Arab. Oh, really? Because your marriage doesn't seem exactly perfect. <laughs> my marriage is none of your business. Oh, Rachel, 
I feel so sorry for you. You and Matt clearly have issues, and I see you buzzing around here. I'm like a lovesick, but you can't get enough honey. <laughs> How many fingers am I holding up? What? I think there's something wrong with your vision. You see, it's not me hanging around A-Rab. It's him buzzing around me. So maybe you should spend more time worrying about your own relationship and keeping your nose out of mine. <sighs> you know what? I feel a lot better. You're actually pretty good at this therapy thing. Rubberized tiles, weather resistant, 94 by 50 feet regulation, NBA size. Welcome to the big league, Judy. Oh, it's never 94 by 50, Bobby. And trust me, there is nothing sadder than a man that has to lie about size. Psych. Court doesn't feel very even to me, Bobby. Some chloroform, a shovel, and a big fucking hole, and we'd never have to deal with that bitch again. Cut! 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 Delete that! From the camera and your brains! Would you get a hold of yourself? Remember when you and me used to play, Pam? A little. You were the captain of the women's basketball team, and the hockey team, and the swim team. I used to hero worship you, I guess. It is so funny the way things turn out. See, I'm gonna be funny after the game today. Uh, Judy, I'd like you to uh, meet Mac, the, the man that's gonna destroy your team. Hey. Hello, Mac. Well, I believe it's time for customary coaches drinks. Bobby. Focus. I try? Uh, sure. No, 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 no. From the middle and with my eyes closed, just like you. Seriously? Mm-hmm. <laughs> How'd it go with Hope? Uh, pfft. it was different. She seems to think we have issues. Well, we don't have issues. That's what I said. Here we go. <laughs> I, I, now you're facing the wrong way. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> How did I do? <laughs> Three pointer. <gasps> you are such a bad liar. <laughs> <laughs> You know, maybe Hope's right. Maybe we do have issues. Hmm? You know, issues that are so big. We should just blow off college for a year, go traveling. Just the two of us. Wow, where did that come from? Well, we've got no responsibilities. We've got no ties, kids. Hey, I want to see the world with you. I want to I wanna go to all those exotic places, like Japan and India and... Canada, you know, I do, I do. A proper honeymoon, just the two of us. Are you serious? You think it's a bad idea? No. I think it's a great idea. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Hey, you're not looking so bad yourself, Ice. I've made some improvements. Check it out. No way! Is that me? Oh, we had this bet, and whoever lost had to get the other's face tattooed in their arm. I cannot believe you did that. You are insane. You know it. <laughs> I, uh, sorry, Flynn. Ice. Ice. It's short. For the Iceman. For Isaac. I was named after my grandfather. God rest his soul. Later, huh? Be nice to catch up. He's got a tattoo of your face on his arm. I know. Amazing. Some might say amazing, some might say creepy. <laughs> Were you and him? It's my face on his arm. 
What do you think? Okay, no problem. I'm cool. Cool as ice. Are you a little bit jealous? No, of course not. It doesn't matter to me who you slept with. No, of course it doesn't, because then we might have to turn the spotlight onto your sordid little past. I'm not that bad. Maybe that's why you want to keep us under wraps. Keep your options open. Because for all I know, you could have slept with every girl here last summer. And by the look on your face, maybe you did. <laughs> not every girl. All right, Colombo, what do you want? List the names. Yeah, okay. That'd be cool. Cool as ice. Someone's having a good day. <laughs> yeah, somebody is. Uh, me and Mac, we're going traveling. Going on a big year-long honeymoon, so your girlfriend can stop stressing about it all. Stressing about all of what? Ah, she seems to think you and me still have feelings for each other. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, that's... Get the... No, that's crazy talk. Right. None of my business. So, wait, you're just gonna drop out of college and go scooting around with Mac? Uh, yep. So when did he ask you on this fantastic voyage? Uh, just now. Oh, just now, right. I see. <laughs> you see what? No, it's just... What is wrong with you and Hope? Why are you so desperate for me to have problems? We're not. Hmm. Well, I'm not. OK, if you've got something to say, then just say it. I don't want to do this little dance. Uh, so you're just being a jerk then. Thank you. All right, so... Matt got high last night, like, really fucked up high, and he snogged Barry. <laughs> is that the best you can do? Well, it's just now he's all like, let's drop out of college and hit the road. I mean, doesn't that seem a bit weird to you? Um, he didn't get high last night, believe me. I know that. I know that. On the bed, on the floor, in the woods, on the hammock. Do you want me to go on? So you think I'm just making this up? No, of course not. You're telling me that my husband secretly likes to get high and make moves on men. You know, you and Hope are just as bad as each other. You need to find a hobby. Get out more. Stop obsessing over my life. Seriously. Hey, um, got a moment? Uh, yeah, just give me a second. I'm just getting ready for the game. Hey. Hey. You didn't end up taking drugs or anything before you came to see me. I mean, I'm not, I'm not judging. I was just sort of liking the whole being married, no secrets thing. I, I can't believe Barry told you. Um, yes, I, I did. I had one puff of a joint and it was, yeah, I was stressed. It was stupid. I don't know why I did it. Is that all that happened? Yeah, that's it. Just, um, you didn't somehow end up, I don't know, kissing Barry at all? What? Yeah. Wait, who, who said that, Barry? No, Arab. And I mean, he's not normally a bullshitter. Oh, no, but he's got his facts wrong because it was actually the other way around. Yeah, I wasn't going to say anything, but we had a smoke and Barry leans in and kind of made a pass at me. Really? Well, no, I mean, yeah, yeah but it's just Brits goofing around, right? Uh, you don't believe that. If you did, you would have mentioned it to me earlier. But Barry, wow. Yeah, wow. Well, 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 if it isn't my favorite little gossip girl. We're not gossiping and... I'm not a girl. But you couldn't wait to tell me how Mac put the moves on Barry, could you? But you forgot one important detail. Barry kissed Mac. Whoa. <laughs> Barry did what now? It would just be Barry being Barry. It's no big deal. Oh, uh, maybe we should just change the topic. I'm saying people are spreading shit about my husband, and I'd like it to stop. Oh, well, it almost sounds like you're the one stirring up trouble. Mm. It kind of does. Uh, don't shoot the messenger. If the messenger's talking bullshit, I'm going to fire away. Oh, my god. Oh, now oh, this thing is so easy. <laughs> hey, sexy. <laughs> Oh. Are you 
deliberately trying to make us look bad in front of Judy. Why don't you uh, tell everyone the truth about you and Max? There's nothing to tell. Then why go around spreading lies and Rachel, rumors? I wasn't. So you made it all up? Oh, cheers, mate. Yeah, you landed me right in it. Here why are you so keen to get involved? Kissing, kissing. Leave him alone. No, no, don't leave me alone, but don't fucking start saying I'm making shit up or anything. For fuck's sake, Mac. Say it, Mac. Yeah, how about a push-up bra? What's the commotion? We have guests. Barry, he's trying to get it on with your captain. No, 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 that's not basketball. We don't try to make out with our fellow players. That's a very reactionary attitude. Happily, we run a progressive camp at Wimbleway. Beaver Falls is progressive. We welcome all people. Uh, straight, gay, uh, various. We love them. Not, not physically, but, uh... You know, like family, uh, cousins, and uncles, both. Uh, tell her, Barry. Oh, 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 yeah, I'm proud of him. My, my, my boy, my big gay boy. So, Bobby. does this mean you'll be getting back with Jake now, or what? Hey, that, well, that's a really dumb thing to say. Barry is as much a man as he always was. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. Hey, don't do that. Butter. Unless it's a supportive <laughs> whistle. <laughs> All right, come on, finish up. Uh, we got a game to play. I know you're probably worried. I'm not worried. Oh, could you pretend to be worried? Okay. I'm really worried. You don't have to be. I'm not gay, and if I was, I'd be gay for you. So you'd be a lesbian? Yes, I would be a lesbian, but with a penis. Sort of like a transsexual, pre-op, obviously. Are you okay? I don't give a shit whether they think I'm gay or not. It's the fact that they're using it to attack me. You want me to kick their asses? No, it's just... You're just disappointed in Mac. Yeah. I don't get why he didn't just stand up and tell him all to shut it. He just sat there. Maybe you should speak to him. Find out why. It's, it's not like Mac to do that. Fuck him. Sure, Barry. I know you. Even though you're pissed off at him, you're probably going to go find out if he's OK anyway. I had a good run while it lasted. It's to a summer of getting the piss ripped out of me. Typing shorts, though. It's working for me. Really? Everyone you slept with last summer? Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, drum roll, please. Jesus, Flynn! I knew you'd been around the block a few times. I didn't realize you screwed every house on the way. They're extenuating circumstances. Frizzy Head! Is that a first name or a last name? She's the girl with. A uh, Frizzy Head? Yeah, I got that. Thank you. And I know about extenuating circumstances, but what were you trying to do? Repopulate America? You're upset. No. I'm horrified. I'm a little creeped out. I'm not upset. Oh, I had this all planned out. You were going to give it to me. I was going to tear it up, say, I don't need to see this. We're cool. I just had to take a look, didn't I? Let's do it again. And this is it. This is everyone. Yeah, everyone. Okay. They're cool. What the hell is that? It's a big screen. High tech. So we watch the game while it's taking place like in the big leagues. Uh, Demonstrate to Judy that we're not some low-rent operation. 
Of course, because nothing says opulence like hanging out your goddamn washing. Apology? What apology? Exactly. Luckily, Kimberly's cool because you're going to really fuck things up there. I thought we were mates. Well, we are mates. Why'd you spread lies about me? Well, why'd you tell Arab I came on to you? Because it was funny. It wasn't a big deal. People do whacked out stuff when they're wasted. Like this haircut, for example. But I didn't do it. Well, okay, so well, you were just incredibly fucked and didn't realise it? No, higher or not, I didn't do it. You did? No, I didn't, Barry. You didn't. It doesn't matter. It's no big deal. That's what I'm saying. Look, see? Mwah. Mate, mucking about. No big deal. You could do it again, even. Hey, back on me. No, dude. Behind you. Something weird just happened. No mwah. big mwah. Still. See? Barry. What? Abort! Abort! Run for the hills! Run for the bus! Run for your life! Just run! I think they might have been filming that. Mac? I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do, Barry. Mac, wait! No, I'm not all right. I'm bored, Flynn. I'm bored of being dutiful. I'm bored of kissing up to sunny day leisure industries. I'm bored of Bobby, who, despite mass evidence to the contrary, thinks he's God's gift to women. I just want to throttle that patronizing, overgrown cheerleader. Doesn't sound like you're having a great summer. I'm not. Bobby and I had an agreement. So I'm asking myself, if he's not playing by the rules, then why should I? Why shouldn't I have some fun? So this means you're going to throttle Judy? No. My summer is going to be a lot more interesting than that. I'll be seeing you soon, Spencer. 14 down, but we can turn this around, hey? Focus, where you been? Just give me the fucking ball, OK? <laughs> Check out the tail on that. Check out the beaver on that. Hey, stop bullying my gay. Closest he'll ever get to a beaver. <laughs> <laughs> He says to keep the camera on Mac. He said we'll cut it all together, put some pounding rock music over it, montage sequence.
play the game, fag. What did you say? No, I said, learn to play the game, fag. Oh, oh Mac, what the fuck? Mac! Mac! Say it again? Oh, Mac! Oh, hey, Mac! Hey, 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 someone stop this! Hey, someone! Hey, fuck hey, off hey, me! Hey, someone! Hey, say it again! Oh, Get the fuck off me! Fucking guy's crazy! Jesus! Fuck, who are you looking at? Dude just called you a fag. There's no need to overreact. Oh, dude. Mac, wait! Mac, hold up a second. This camp is a disgrace. You're a disgrace. <laughs> This game is void. They're walking off the court. Forfeit, forfeit. Beaver Falls wins by default. Beaver Falls. Man, I can't believe he's gay. He showered next to that. No, you got it wrong. I came on to him. I like men. And Mac is a man. So I kissed him because I'm a man who likes other men. <laughs> I am a gay. Okay, dude, we've all seen your porn stash. If you're gay, then you have this weird fascination with pussy. <laughs> Fine, I'll show you. What are you doing? I'm gonna show them the video that you took of me. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the truth. You can't show the video. You can't show the video. Back off, time, One man became a hero. What the hell? Oh, I am the Dragon Boy! Strong tape. You're our only hope. Us women can and rely on you. But I'm just a man. What can I do? We are so dead. Okay? <laughs> you kind of went full on psycho on that guy. Is he okay? Yeah, he's fine, I guess. Some bumps and bruises in the morning. I get it. It's a sports thing. Testosterone pumping. I guess Barry. No, you're you're just saying that to defend him, right? Because the jocks are bullying him and you're a good person. I'm just saying it because it's the truth. I was the one, it was it was me. It doesn't matter. Everyone experiments. You think I haven't kissed a girl? I have. I was five, but it still counts. Rachel. It's not like you made out with another girl. Then we'd really have a problem. I'm sorry. It's fine. No, I'm sorry. I'm so fucking sorry. It's, it's fine, whatever, whatever this is. We can fix it. We can go traveling. No, I love you. I love you so I love you so much. Don't. Please. No. No, Mac, Mac, Mac. Please take it back. Put it back on. Put it back on. Please. Please. You okay? Sure. Just watching my boyfriend dressed as a beaver, pretending to come out in front of a group of basketball players. <laughs> yeah, it's another day in Barry World, isn't it? Wait, Judy, wait. Oh. I want to say sorry on behalf of me and Bobby. Physical violence has no place on the sports field. The value of society can be measured by how the hosts treat their guests, and today we let you and ourselves down. Well, Pam, that's very good of you to- Psych! Right. 
bitch. I'm so sorry. Look, I had to tell her. I was just looking out for her. Sure. Saddle up that white horse and ride on in. I hear ya. No matter what other people might think. Other people? Yeah. Well, there are those who might say that you know Rachel pretty well and you knew exactly what telling her would do. Sowing those seeds of doubt and whatnot. Some may even say he saw it as an opportunity. No. What? That's like the last thing I wanted is for her to get hurt. I want to believe you. Because if any part of you did see this as an opportunity, as a way to get back at her, get her back on the market, well, that'd be really fucked up, right? I know, Rich, I know. It's gonna be okay. I'm really sorry. I'm so sorry. You're not wearing your wedding ring. No. Fuck. So is this one of those deep down you always knew kind of things? This is why I said I envied you, Barry. You know, you don't pretend to be something you're not. You just you. I don't care about me. I care about Rachel and I, I fucked up her life. I don't know what to say. I'm so sorry. There's, there's nothing to say, man. Super cute. I'm not just cute, but hot, right? No, I'm a hot dude. Yeah, sure, you're a hot dude. Hotter than Flynn. Oh, don't push it. Thank you. When it's heavy on the eye, and now Easier to hide in the great unknown. Nothing is impossible. Falls, we turn boys into men. Men America can be proud of. Manly men. Send your sons to Beaver Falls for a summer they won't forget.
It's, it's just a first cut. This is not what I asked for. This is so much better.